Hi everyone, I'm Maggie Weldon from Maggie'sCrochet.com and I'm here to introduce a bunch of patriotic designs that we've um, recently created and a lot of these are actually all of them are very easy scale so they're great for beginners and um, there's a nice little purse here with a matching hat and scarf to start with and this is Deborah Norville's Serenity Chunky Yarn which is available at Maggie'sCrochet.com and then um, we have, I've taken the ruffled scarf um, from a video that we previously did and I added Premier Yarns Mary to the top of it. And this is Premier's Enchant Yarn and we just wound this around and put the button in the middle so you could use it like for a lapel or like a hair thing. And then we did some cute little um, coasters with cotton yarn. And then this is done with worsted weight yarn and my daughter laughs at me because I like Ice House beer. But anyway, um, and she tells me that at the local little pub that they go to or the bar uh, that some of the guys are showing up with these beer cozies. So I'm just taking her word for it. So um, then we're going to come out with some other ones too. So this scarf is really cute, very easy to make and that's also out of the Serenity Chunky Yarn. And then this necklace I have on could not be easier. It's great for kids to do, um, just for beginners, because all it is is chains. So this is Starry Night from Premier, and this is Starbella, which is typically used for the ruffling um, scarves, but you can crochet with it, and it makes a awesome, easy project to do. And then lastly, this is Red Heart Sachet Yarn, already with all the different red, white, and blue colors, and it's like super easy ruffled scarf to make. So now I'm gonna take you to a close-up, and Christina is gonna show you how to make these projects. Thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe to our channel, and the links to everything are listed below. Hey everybody, it's Christina from Maggie'sCrochet.com, and today I'm gonna show you how to make this really cute patriotic 4th of July ruffle scarf. The yarn I used for this is um, Red Heart Boutique Sachet Yarn in the color Patriotic, go figure. Um, this is a great yarn. It's got just a little bit of sparkle right in the edge there. Um, and everybody loves a little bit of sparkle. Super easy project. You'll need one full skein of yarn per scarf. And the way you make these if you've never made a ruffle scarf before, when you get the yarn, it's going to be all bunched up like this. So one of the first things you'll need to do is once you find your end, is kind of spread it out. And you can do this as you go. I don't usually spread out the whole skein at once, just a couple inches. See how that spreads right out like netting. So you'll start at the end, and I usually fold it over just a little bit so I don't have the raw edge quite as obvious. And what you're working into on this yarn are these top loops right here. Okay, the side with the sparkle is the bottom. You're working into the opposite end than that. So just fold over roughly there or so. I'm using, what's this, an H hook? Hook size, again, not super duper important for this. Use whatever you're comfortable with. You do want to use a hook like this though, as opposed to one that's got like the cushion grip. And you'll see why in just a minute. So start, I've got my end folded over just a little bit. And I'm going to begin by going into, let's see, right here we've got double loop because we were to work doubled. I'm gonna do just one stitch to start and just pull those loops through the ones on my hook and that kind of anchors my beginning. Now your pattern that you're going to work here is you're going to go into every third loop. So let's see, one, two, there's my third one. One, two, three. I'm going to do this until I get 10 loops on my hook, not counting my first one there. So that's two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight. And you may have to stop and spread out the yarn a little bit. What was that, eight? So this should be nine. And then one more makes 10. So this is why you don't want to use one of the, the hooks with the little cushiony grip, because you've got a, a lot of loops to get on your hook here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So then you're just going to pull this first loop here through all the rest of your loops on your hook. So I usually kind of gather these up with my finger. Makes it a little easier to pull them through. And there we go. The Dreams hooks are nice for this because they have a good deep um, hook head to pull those through. Sometimes you'll find you accidentally pulled through two, which I think is the case here. Yeah, I've got two loops there. Um, the way you can figure out which one is which, well, first of all, if you're working with a variegated yarn, it may be obvious depending on the color. And second, if you yank on the free end here, you'll see which one tightens. So I know that one is the correct one, and I'll just finish pulling that through. And then you repeat um, all the way till the end of the skein of yarn, going in every third hole 10 times, and then pulling a loop all the way through. And when you're done, you have this beautiful scarf, and uh, I will show you how to finish it off just as soon as I finish mine. When you come to the end of your skein of yarn, you'll need to finish off your project. So just Take your hook out and pull the leftover skein through that last loop on your hook. Just like that, and then pull it really nice and tight. If you're worried about it, you can certainly tie uh, an extra knot in there as well, but that's usually plenty enough to hold it. And then you'll just trim down your end to about the length of your ruffles. And then once you just kind of fluff a little bit, it'll disappear right in the middle there with all the rest of your ruffles. So that is how you make the Patriotic Ruffle Scarf. If you've got any questions, leave a comment down below. Uh, and all the materials and instructions you'll need are in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. And this is the third part, um, which we're going to do the edging round. So um, at the end of row 13, so what that is, is to just go between these two shells and go into that space right there and work a single crochet like that.